Looks like it's that time of year again. Exactly, it's the supreme Japanese streetwear collaboration again. You're right, it's a huge collaboration, like 16 items. What's that you say? You hope the collaboration doesn't wake a long, dormant, prehistoric beast of the ocean. Oh no! Godzilla! Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're gonna talk about Supreme's Week 6 drop list. Featuring a Supreme Bounty Hunter collaboration. Bounty Hunter is a high-end Japanese streetwear brand that pulls inspiration from American punk rock and motorcycle culture. The brand started as a toy company in 1995 with specific interests in Star Wars memorabilia. Even the name Bounty Hunter references the character Boba Fett. This is the way. Now other than that little voiceover blurb, I, I don't really know a whole lot about Bounty Hunter. The Japanese streetwear brands are usually in my peripheral, if nothing else. Pretty sure I've seen the figurines before. I think they did one with Cause, and I believe they've done one with Neighborhood at least once before. But they're throwing 16 different items at us, from beanies to varsity jackets. There's even a silver ring. Just on. look at that. Pretty decent collaboration, and of course we're getting everyone's favorite $400 Supreme Knife. But before I get into the drop list, I want to make sure that you guys are members of the Fauntleroy's Finest Discord. Larry's weekly calendar lets you know where and when these drops are happening. The new Wave Lee is always hooking us up with raffles from all over the internet. Manny keeps us up on all the shoes that are dropping throughout the month. And Efren, well, he'll ban you for absolutely no reason. He's a little shit. Best of all, the price is free. Make sure you use my special invite in the description below, and I'll see you there. And obviously, if you enjoy these videos, make sure that you like this one and if you haven't yet subscribe because it's almost literally the least you can do don't be hating all right let's get into the drop i'm gonna go through these a little bit faster than normal because there are just so many items to cover this week plaid corduroy half zip short sleeve shirt actually isn't that bad of an item i'm surprised it's this far down on the list but it's a personal let's keep going next up we have the first bounty hunter item on the list these bounty hunter jeans now, first off, I'm not really sure how well this Bounty Hunter collaboration will do in the United States. Probably will do better in Japan. I think more people just know about Bounty Hunter out there than they do here. So I think that buying anything for reselling is a little bit risky with this entire collaboration. That said, these jeans are kind of lazy and you wouldn't even be able to see the branding on it unless you tucked in the shirt. So, I mean, what are you, some kind of nerd tucking in your shirts all the time? No! Next up we have the Bounty Hunter Ripstop shirt. This kind of looks like an outfit that you would be wearing if you were a waiter in Guy Fieri's newest restaurant, Bounty Hunter. I'm the mayor of Flavortown. If you want to go to Flavortown, these might be the shirts for you, but otherwise, let's move along. Uh, next up, the Bounty Hunter hooded sweatshirt. Uh, I'm not really feeling this. It's kind of plain. Let's keep going. Next up we have the Bounty Hunter beanie. I mean, I guess if you wanted to grab something from this collaboration and you needed free shipping, then this would be a good item for that. Not really feeling this beanie though, it's a little bit busy and again, still kind of giving off these Guy Fieri vibes. Some of this collaboration is just hitting me like that, and this is one of those items. My car decided to break down somewhere between Flavortown and Titty City. Next up, the Mesh Pocket Camp Cap. Now I think the camo colorway of this hat actually is really nice. The black colorway probably will do alright too. That Mesh Pocket is kind of weird. The camo one, it kind of works with. The other colorways, maybe not so much. And really only get this if you're trying to hit that free shipping threshold i just don't think there's a ton here they've been making camp caps every week and i'm sure there'll be better ones in weeks to come pause next up the wash script short sleeve top let's not even talk about this uh, here we go the bounty hunter long sleeve top this might actually be my favorite item of the collection i'm a little upset at that 110 price point 
I do want to pick this piece up. I was hoping it was going to be around 78, which is still a little bit silly to me, but I do like it. So it's kind of my favorite piece in the collection, like I said. I think that the black one looks good. I also think the white one looks good, but I don't see any resale on this necessarily. But I do think a lot of people like this piece, which means that there could be some sneaky profit somewhere down the line. Definitely risky to try to buy a $110 thermal to flip. Cool, cool piece, but very risky if you're trying to resell it. Is it worth the risk? Next up, the raised script sweatpants. I think the raised script stuff actually does look pretty good. Not really feeling the sweatpants that much. I think they'd make decent personals, but otherwise, let's keep going. Next up, the Bounty Hunter Meshback 5 panel. Now, this trucker hat is pretty decent. I think that black colorway actually is, is really good. The red one has a chance to do something sneaky as well, but I think the black one kind of holds up on its own, whether you like Bounty Hunter, know it or not. $48 price point, though. Pretty decent for a hat. I Again, another one of those items, if you're just looking to try to get free shipping, why the hell not? I have no idea why I'm here or what I'm doing here, but I can guarantee you my wallet will be empty after checkout. Next up, we have the Bounty Hunter sweater. I think same thing for me. The black colorway in this looks really, really good. Anything Supreme that is red has a chance to do well, but I think the black one really works well with the skull and all that kind of stuff. Do I think this sweater is going to resell? I don't think it's going to make enough to justify spending the 168 on it at the end of the day. The black one is a pretty cool piece, but it's super risky. Next up, loose gauge beanie. Um, I probably would skip this one. Maybe you'll go for the one that looks like the candy dots. I know the new Wave Lee wants that one pretty bad. They have a thin candy shell. Hmm. Surprised you didn't know that. Next up, the corduroy skate pants. What? I didn't know these were releasing this week. Oh my god. These are really good pants. These usually sell out as well. 138 is not too shabby for a pair of pants from Supreme. At the end of the day, they're basically corduroy sweatpants, but they do make really good skate pants. If you fall down and eat shit, that corduroy can save your ass. Sometimes literally. These also could have a sneaky chance to do well in big sizes. Definitely something to think about, but let's keep going. Next up, we have the Bounty Hunter Wolf Tee. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this particular t-shirt. I've heard some folks say nice things about it, but for me personally, I don't see it. I don't really see any resale in it. Maybe XXLs, XLs, if you want to hold on to it for a while, but I don't really think it's worth it. Next up, the Bounty Hunter MA1 jacket. MA1 jackets are my weakness. Olive MA1 jackets, even more so. I think they did a really good job with this jacket. Uh, 368, it's a little bit hefty. I, again, I live in California. I, I really don't need a jacket ever. Maybe like two days out of the year, and I can just put a blanket on when I'm going to the car. Super cool jacket, but definitely a personal, in my opinion. Let's keep going. I need that more than anything right now, and I want it. I want it more than anything right now. <laughs> Here we go, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and call this one my sleeper of the week, the Bounty Hunter Mesh Moto Jersey. The reason that I'm naming this the sleeper of the week is the damn price point. 128 that's crazy like there is a lot of room for profit for a jersey like this i personally like the blue and white one but you can never really go wrong with black it's not the greatest jersey that they've ever made but this price point is really really good i think you can justify buying as many of these as you want xls and xxls are definitely the way to go with jerseys i'm sure both colorways will do really well it's a great price point and i do see these selling out but probably they're going to be a little bit of a hold i think if there's going to be any item for this collaboration that can make some profit it's going to be this one and really the only sizes to avoid would be probably small and medium you're killing me smalls next up this bounty hunter backpack i remember back in the late 90s when the rave scene was very very popular we had a large group of friends and in a couple of them would would have little animal backpacks that they would wear around at the rave club so when i see a backpack like this it makes me think of what terrible decisions people on drugs make. It's just a big black what the fuck were you thinking putting that on your back kind of a thing. But good luck to anyone that wants one. Now walk it out. 
Okay. Next up, we have the raised script hooded sweatshirt. I actually think this is a pretty good hoodie. The script embroidered logo looks really nice on these. The colors are really, really nice. I think XXLs in the red colorway, the black colorway, maybe even the yellow colorway could do all right. For sure, red and black though, those will probably sell out in XXL. Sneaky little piece to hold on to for a couple months, then it'll probably value up pretty well. I'm a sweater, snake snack. Next up, this might be my favorite item of the week, to be fair with you. The Bounty Hunter Silver Ring. And this ring is actually made by the Great Frog. So it's like a triple collaboration. Great Frog makes a lot of really nice jewelry, generally pretty high priced things. Larry showed us one that looks kind of similar that's already on the site that's like $750 or some such. So this price point could be really low and if it is actually only $300, uh, strangely enough, this could be a really good deal. I think it's probably the only item from this collaboration that might even be thought about in a couple of seasons from now. And I do expect this to be pretty rare. I think if you want this, you need to be lightning quick. The nicer jewelry items from Supreme usually sell out pretty quickly and they do tend to have some decent resale. This is one of those items I'm debating if I want to go for it or not. It's either get a couple of items or just go for the ring. So that's kind of my decision this week. Bitch, please. <laughs> Next up, the Bounty Hunter Varsity Jacket. I, I feel like we get a new fancy ass Varsity Jacket every other week. This one, no exception, just as good as some of the other ones we've seen. However, I'm not dropping $588 on a Bounty Hunter varsity jacket. I think it looks really cool. I think that red one actually looks a little bit better than the black one. One of the first times I've ever said that in my life. That being said, it's $600. We're not talking about it anymore. Let's move along. It's expensive. Here we go, the Bounty Hunter Skull Tee. I definitely believe that I need to pick up that blue Skull Tee. I think they did a really good job with this one. Some people think it's maybe a little too campy or a little too much. Bunch of skulls all over everything. I think this one's done really well. I like how that big giant skull is just right in the middle of the shirt. And that blue colorway is just yelling at me to come pick it up. I think that the blue and black colorways in XL... XXLs could do really well. I think that if anybody's randomly buying stuff from this collaboration, it's probably gonna be this t-shirt. And if it's $48, really not that bad of a price for a collaboration item. And the stock should be fairly low on these as well. So again, that kind of helps it out. Three colorways kind of suck, but I don't really like the white one at all. So in my mind, there's only really two colorways of this shirt worth grabbing. I bet you it's because I'm white. Uh, next up we have this Bounty Hunter figurine. I'm pretty sure that I have seen these figurines before. They've done a collaboration with Cause and Neighborhood and, and several others. I'll assume this is kind of like a bear brick or something like that. Maybe I can pick him up and get you a friend. Oh yay, I'm so lonely. What the fuck are you talking about, man? $128 isn't really that bad of a price point for, for a toy like this. And you never know as far as resale goes with stuff like this because some of them have hit pretty high price points. I was looking up the cause one and I think it was going for something like $4,000. I think that's worth a gamble. And again, if nothing else, it'll look good on a shelf. And finally, the number one item of the week is the Supreme Mayabi 7-inch knife. Yes, it's a $400 knife, but, but to be honest with you, these are extremely high-end knives. These are considered some of the best knives in the world. Perfectly balanced, this whole thing should be. I'm pretty sure it's made out of that fancy Game of Thrones Damascus steel, and they threw on that fancy birchwood handle just to make you go, I need that knife. You got the Supreme logo on one side and the Miami stamp on the other. You honestly could buy this knife and you would never need another knife in your life. I do think these are going to go really, really quickly. I know a lot of people that want this particular knife. I don't know how much resell something like this will have. I think a lot of people want it and a lot of people are gonna be willing to pay 400 bucks for it. Are they gonna be $800? I don't know, because to me that's what it needs to be in order to make it worthwhile to pay, you know, 400 for this knife. I'm sure they're going to be very rare, and I'm sure they are going to be sought after. I can't imagine this item losing money, to be honest with you. And if you have the ability to sit on 400 bucks, I mean, it's definitely a cool item to get. And shit, you could probably use it and sell it for a fair amount as a used item down the road as well. 
All right, guys, there you go, week six. Not the best week that we've had, but definitely not the worst week. There are some items that I really like, but there are also a lot of items that I don't think we needed to see. My eyes! I think my choice on Thursday is to either go after a figurine and a skull shirt or go after that silver ring. I know, exciting, isn't it? The answer is hell no. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are going after. What do you think about this collection? Are you interested? How many of you have even heard about Bounty Hunter before this collaboration? Who? Thank you guys for watching this video. And if for some reason this video did not give you the fill of Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos right here.